Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to 4 StarCraft 2 Strategy. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Terran strategy. Now in this replay, our Terran player is Shark GS Jow, and our Protoss opponent is Hawk. I'm going to go right into Shark of Vision here. So again, this is a uh, Terran strategy. What we're going to be looking at today is going for uh, two gate early, I'm sorry, <laughs> two barracks early pressure and into a fast expansion. Now the idea behind this strategy is to kind of harass your opponent early in the game and open up that uh, avenue to expand early. Uh, now one of two things is going to happen from this early game harassment. Either you're going to catch your Protoss opponent off guard while they're teching up um, and you're going to be able to take them out, or at the very least you should cause a lot of harassment and a lot of damage, uh, which is going to allow you to safely expand, or the other option is just to actually contain them in their base for a short while, um, and again, this is going to allow you to get up your expansion quite safely. So going for the this early army of Marines and Marauders, this early pressure, um, and pressuring your opponent to either uh, react to the amount of units you have um, by producing more units, or trying to keep you out of your keep you out of their base with force fields. Um, all of these avenues are actually going to be good for you because they're again going to allow you to get up that expansion safely and then once that expansion is up and you saturate that you're going to have a huge economic advantage. Starting things out we're going with a pretty basic build order um, that 10 supply depot followed by that 12 barracks. Um, shortly thereafter at 13 we're going for this refinery attempting to deal with this probe harassment the best we can. Uh, you have several different options when it comes to dealing with this. You can either, of course, pull an SCV down to attack the probe. Um, you can run over and repair the SCV that is being attacked. Or you can pull a fresh SCV down to start rebuilding the barracks and then just the SCV that's injured you can pull off and bring it back to the mineral line. Um, different things to consider uh, when doing that. Now of course something to know is that if you do repair the SCV, if that is your choice, uh, your avenue to deal with this harassment, um, you do lose uh, minerals uh, in doing so while repairing. So something to consider. Getting now our orbital command, we started that at 60, and again, fairly standard. Um, and since we didn't quite have the Vespian, as soon as this barracks is up, we're actually, we actually start off by producing a, a marine or two. Also, getting these early marines is going to help keep any additional scouting, uh, keep any additional probe scouts out of our base, um, as well as allow us to do this a little bit of harassment by sending that marine out to try to poke at their, uh, try to poke at their base and see what we can do to them as well. Um, also, of course, we're using this Marine to get scouting to try to find our opponent. Oh, that is, of course, the other thing that we are looking to do here. Now, as you can see, uh, Protoss' opponent does have a Zealot on the board. Um, he's going to be trying to push forward to do some harassment. We're going to be able to deal with that just by microing our Marine and keeping him away from the Zealot. Um, getting down our second barracks right now, we started building that barracks at 17 supply, basically right after we started our orbital command. Uh, now, once we drop this tech lab down, um, after our first two marines, we started dropping the tech lab on our barracks, um, and then right after that's done, we, we do start building our first marauder. Because uh, again, we are going to be going with marine and marauder pressure early in the game, try to do as much harassment as possible. Uh, now, as you can see, our Protoss opponent is trying to do some early game harassment of his own by pushing out with these two zealots. Um, so we're going to want to deal with this by pulling our units together um, close to our mineral line because that is of course what they're going to be going for primarily um, and try to poke them out and do poke them off and do some micro by pulling back our units whenever the zealots get close to engage. Um, so we're going to be pulling back our marine right there, stop them from taking damage, pulling back that marine. Um, the marauder is a little more robust. We don't mind if he hit, takes a few hits. Um, they're definitely much better to have your marauder take hits from zealots than it is to have your marines take hits. So again, what we're going to be looking to do is going to be pushing out with this small task force early in the game um, and trying to allow us to safely expand into our natural here. So we're going to be, we have a, a decent force at this point. We're going to be pushing out very shortly, um, and we're basically going to be waiting until that concussive shell is done. That concussive shell is going to allow us to kite their army uh, very well, slow down units that come close to engage us, um, shoot, and then pull back and shoot. And that it's basically that move, shoot, move, shoot um, ability that can be very strong. Uh, we're going to take a look at that and how how to properly do that as well. I'm um, taking a little detour around these lampposts. That was quite cute, I must say. So again, the whole point of this and pushing out early uh, is not necessarily to take them out early, but to either contain them or harass them enough to allow you to safely get up this fast expansion and take an economic advantage. Uh, now, you are, of course, in danger of uh, getting force field out of their base. Now, luckily, in this particular instance, we were able to kill off that sentry um, that was doing that force field. We do have this additional sentry up here, but after force, field, force fielding right there, as you can see, he is out of energy. 
So once this force field dissipates here, we're going to be able to push up and continue harassment. Now in seeing this, there are there will be many occasions where you try to do this push and you will just get force fielded out of your out of their base. Um, but if you do manage to eke in whatsoever, or if they miss the force field at the front of the ramp, then keep up the pressure. Um, keep producing additional units. We do have this reactor here in this barracks. Um, that actually went down to 33 supply, just in case you were wondering. Um, so we're just going to continue this pressure, continue pushing out. We do have stim pack coming. We also have our additional barracks. And our expansion command center is just about done now. So again, the entire point of this is pushing out, try to do some harassment, see what you can do for damage. But mainly, it's to get that expansion up. Um, and basically do what we can to harass them and keep them contained while we expand and then after that point we'll have a huge economic advantage um, and then hopefully again of course we can do a lot of damage as well. Uh, now this is going to work, a push like this is going to work primarily because a lot of Protoss players do try to tech up early and thusly neglect really early forces. Um, now it's not that Huck in this particular game didn't have any forces to deal with this, of course he did have a, a few units uh, but primarily the per problem was that he was going for this warp gate tech um, and in doing so a lot of time players will just again neglect really early forces uh, now pushing out with this timing push this really early timing push basically waiting up until that concussive shell research is done uh, can allow you to do a ton of damage here uh, now, as you can see, we're just microing around the units, moving back and shooting. That's what I was talking about earlier. In fact, this entire engagement has basically been move-shoot. Um, and with concussive shells, that can be very, very strong. Now, taking a look back at our base, again, we do have that third barracks is down right now. Um, we do have additional reinforcements being rallied to his base. And again, the main purpose of doing that entire push was to get this expansion up. And as you can see, it is up, and we're going to start to saturate it right now. But keeping up the harassment, we have done a lot of damage to the Protoss opponent. There's no reason to pull back unless you think that they are at a huge advantage. But we've taken out so many probes and so much of his forces um, that it is just, at this point, too much for him to handle, and he does call good game. Uh, now, again, I will say that this push isn't necessarily... It is uh, certainly not an all-in, um, but it isn't necessarily to take out your opponent early game. The main point is to contain them long enough to safely get up your expansion. Uh, and it just so happens in this game, especially being able to eke in uh, and kill that first sentry very quickly, um, doing that allowed us to push in the rest of our forces and maintain this harassment constantly. And that coupled with the fact that, um, like many Protoss players, Huck in this particular game was trying to tech up early. He got that fast, pretty quick robotics facility um, and was going for that warp gate research. Um, in turn neglecting early forces because because of spending his resources on things like this robotics facility and he also of course got that early absorber to scout don't quite see it right here but i know he has it at some point so yeah, pushing out with this two barracks of pressure is uh, going to allow you to do a lot of damage to your opponent if you can eke into their base, and it also going to allow you to get up this expansion for this great economic advantage. And again, don't count on taking out your opponent every time with this uh, two barracks pressure, but if it so happens, then great, good for you. But otherwise, the main purpose is, again, getting up that expansion. I think I've said that about four million times right now. Uh, sorry if it's being kind of a pain in the ass at this point, but just kind of want to try to drive that home. So we're going to take a look at this build order real quick here. Uh, start off with that 10 supply depot, followed it up with a 12 barracks. Got two marines initially out of that barracks to fend off early pressure as well as scouts. 13, we did get our refinery. 16, orbital command, all standard stuff thus far. Uh, 17 is when our second barracks went down. Now, once those two marines were done building, we did get that tech lab on that first barracks. Um, now, 27 supply, once that tech lab was up, we started researching that concussive shell. Uh, 33 supply is when we started building a reactor on our second barracks here. And then a 34 supply, right as we were pushing out, we did drop this command center at our expansion. Um, we did is a lot of harassment. We were able to take out a lot of his units, and that allowed us, again, to safely expand here. And then a 41 supply is when we did, in fact, get our a third barracks, which is the one right here, and then a fourth barracks coming down as well, just because the pressure was working so well. Uh, now something to keep in mind is that if this push didn't work so well, uh, had we not done as much damage, I uh, probably wouldn't be seeing this fourth barracks. We'd probably be looking to get a, a factory and then maybe a starport just to tech up in general to get some uh, higher tier units, especially since he is sitting here with this robotics facility. So once again, guys, this has been 4 StarCraft 2 Strategy. If you guys like our videos and you like what we're doing here, please do go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Keep watching and keep owning, guys. So as you can see, pushing forward here, um, holding back our Marines, we don't want to pull them out of the range of our siege tank. Definitely want to give them that siege tank support. That's the reason they're going to be effective. Um, and we quite easily took out the amount of forces he did have. And someone might say, well, he didn't really have a ton of units. 
And that is the case because of all that early game harassment.